Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, today we are going to swap the wheels and tires on the Crate Nate S and the Traxxas X Max. Now, to do that, you will need to go out and grab a set of these wheel nuts. Um, you can buy them off eBay, just search. Um, I think I searched like Traxxas X Max 24 mil, um, and these will come up pretty much right away. What these allow you to do is, if you don't know already, these are wheels and tires for a Traxxas X Max. The center, you know, fits the uh, stock Traxxas stub axle, no problem. There it is. And they go on, they mount up using the stock wheel nut, this little guy here, and you're good to go. However, if you own a Creighton 8S and you buy those wheels and tires, you have to drill out the centers just because these are more guys of a standard fifth scale size um, wheel hex. So you have the 24 mil here, but your stub axle or... I don't know, just the threaded part, whatever you want to call this right here, is your standard fifth scale size. So they do not fit when you first buy those wheels and tires. So if you buy the X-Max um, aftermarket wheels and tires from Duratrax, from Power Hobby, they come like this. So you drill them out, boom, 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 they go on, no problem. The problem is once you do that, if you have a Traxxas X-Max, this is what... So basically when you put the wheel nut on after you've drilled out these rims to fit um, the Creighton 8S, you can see that the wheel nut barely even touches the rim. Uh, so obviously it's not gonna clamp on, it's not gonna hold your wheel and tire on. And what kind of sucks about that is, is that now you can't use those wheels and tires on your X-Max. So if you have a Creighton 8S and an X-Max, you are definitely gonna wanna buy, again, a set of these wheel nuts, because you're gonna be able now to run your wheels and tires from your X-Max on your Creighton 8S and vice versa. Um, definitely something, you know, when I was buying my, the, my power hobbies, um, I thought of right away, I'd order the wheel nuts. They did take a while to get here. Unfortunately, that's why this video is kind of taking a little bit of time to get up, but, um, I always wanted to be able to kind of, you know, be able to swap the wheels and tires, uh, between the two trucks. I wanted to try the hatchet X's on my Creighton. I wanted to be able to run these on my X-Max every once in a while. I do prefer the look of the hatchet X, um, wheel and tire on the X-Max. But these, I just, you know, you always want to kind of just try different things out. I, you know, these might be a little more stable because they're a little wider. Um, and the weight between the two guys is something like, I think it's 10 grams heavier for this one, I think, if I remember, um, which is basically nothing. So anyways, guys, we're going to now uh, throw the wheel nuts on so I can show you exactly how they work. All right. So here, guys, again, is... Uh, this rim was, you know, drilled out so it could fit my Crate Nate S, and this one is is just the way it comes from Dirt Tracks. It fits on an X Max with no issues. Um, wheel nut goes on, doesn't fall through, all good, no issues whatsoever. Take that same wheel nut, bring it over to the wheel nut to the tire that you um, drilled out for, that you drilled up for your Crate Nate S, and it is not going to work. When you get these guys, uh, two things: one. You know, it's kind of flanged out. It's sort of got like a, you know, built-in type of washer type thing to clamp your wind, your wheel, um, as well as now you have this right here. So when you put it on the wheel, there you go. You're now able to clamp down on the drilled out portion now um, and be able, you know, you're able now to run these on your X-Max without an issue. Um, plus, I think they look kind of cool too. They look a lot better than these little guys. Um, so anyways, we're going to mount those up on the X-Max right now. Right. There you guys have it. Um, you know, I think they look cool too. To be fair, I always thought these kind of looked kind of, you know, sort of a little dinky um, on the truck. They looked kind of small. Um, I never had any issues with them. I actually never had any problems with them backing off. Um, I never had any issues with them, you know, clamping on the wheel and tire. But I always just thought they looked kind of small versus the rest of the size of the truck, you know, versus the size of the wheel and tire. Um, obviously, now these wheel nuts look a little bit more girthy. They definitely fit. In my opinion, guys, they, they look better on the truck. They they kind of fit scale-wise better. Um, and again, now I'm able to swap wheels and tires back and forth without an issue. Uh, I will have to drill out all my hatchet X's because they're still the same, uh, you know, as they came to me type thing. They, they're Again, they were made to fit the X-Max. But I'm going to be able to drill those out and now swap them back and forth. I do prefer the look of the hatchet X wheels and tires on the X-Max. Um, when I first got the Scorpions and I hadn't drilled them out yet, I did have them on my X-Max for a bit. Um, 
Again, I prefer the look of the Hatchet X, uh, but I do want to be able to swap them back and forth. I do want to, I think these might be a little bit more stable. So sometimes depending on the running I'm doing, I might throw those on. Um, as well as I do really want to try these on the Creighton 8S. Um, I haven't been able to do that because I never drilled them out because I wanted to be able to run, keep running these on my X-Max. Um, but guys, there you go. This was kind of a quick video, I know. Uh, I just wanted to sort of get straight to the point. I'm going to take this time now to drill out the Hatchet X wheels and mount them up on the Creighton 8S and take both trucks outside and get a few pics so that you can see what they both look like uh, on both vehicles. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Anyways, guys, enjoy the pics. All right, guys, usually once we get into the image montage, you are done having to listen to me babble. Um, but when I was putting the clips together, I realized there was a few things I forgot that I just wanted to mention. When you're looking at buying, and this is mainly for the Duratrax wheels and tires. When you're looking at buying the Duratrax 24 millimeter wheels and tires, be sure that you get the right ones. They do make two different versions. One are the X-Max ones. So they'll say right in the title, 24 millimeter Duratrax, X-Max, blah, 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 blah. Those are these. So these are the bigger wheels and tires. They also make a, I believe is a non-belted 24 millimeter wheel and tire also. And that is the SC version. That is your HBI Baja, Low C5T, DBXL, E size tire. So if you see Duratrax, whatever model SC, that is the smaller wheel and tire. It will already have a pre-drilled, like the hole is already big enough to fit, you know, like a Creighton or a Baja or a Lucy 5T uh, axle, all that kind of stuff. However, they are the smaller wheel and tire, a lot smaller, like I was showing earlier in the video. So you just want to be aware, guys, of that, that you do not order the SC version because you will have a smaller wheel and tire. Uh, second, the stock Creighton 8S wheels and tires do not fit on the X-Max. Um... For some reason, I don't know if it's it's the rim, they won't clamp down. You actually won't be able to thread the wheel nut far enough in to hold the wheels and tires tight. Um, I found that out a, a couple of days ago when I just was kind of playing with things. Um, so yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that I had sort of forgot to kind of mention that during the video and I didn't want to leave that out because I wanted to make sure if you guys were ordering wheels and tires that you get the right ones. Um, but anyways, guys, one thing I also want to say I actually think these wheels and tires look better on the X-Max with those wheel nuts. I know that sounds kind of weird, but they look really, really cool now. Um, I didn't really, I wasn't fond of these wheels and tires when I first got them, and I put them on the X-Max before I drilled them out. 
but I actually think these look really, really good. Um, and this thing looks just nasty with these wheels and tires. Uh, it looks so aggressive. Um, I honestly thought that they were going to look not right. I thought they were going to look kind of skinny or something. I don't know. I just didn't think they were going to look right. Pictures I had actually seen online uh, where guys had mounted them. I didn't really think it looked that good. But in person, this thing looks mean. And I'll probably be leaving these actually these wheels and tires like this for a while. I'm going to definitely be running both trucks with them, try them out. And uh, anyways, guys, have a good day.